All right, all right, all right. Welcome aboard, everybody. Q loves you coming to you live, getting things started off. Welcome to Throwdown Thursdays. Nice live show. We took a little week off last week with one of our first, first, first shows. Got a little, uh, a little, a little patriotic garb going on here for our special guest tonight, which is going to be great. We've got an amazing show coming, coming for all of you. So I want to get going on this pretty quickly with, uh, with my, with my good friend and uh, your friend, our friend, Patrick Nay, everybody. Hold on a second, Patrick. Let me, let me unmute you here. Hey, 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 unmute me, unmute me, you dictator. Whatever, you, you like you, it. You commie dictator. Whatever, you USA, USA, USA. All right, that's listen, all good. Q, yes. We all know you're voting for Trump. Let's be honest here. Hey, listen, <laughs> listen. This is make Thursdays great again, not make America great. Come on. Okay, great. I was thinking to say, are you a four-star general of like Chicago, of bro? <laughs> Chicago, bro. Listen. Okay. The Hawks, buddy. Oh, okay. You know better okay. than that. Come on. You know what? I bow to you, and I'm offended that I offended you. Yes. Because I am a Chicago guy, not a thousand percent. <clears throat> Q, it is great to see you, buddy. How are you, man? I'm doing well. You look sharp today. We both look really sharp for our for our I look and... I saw my neck. I'm like, well, I'm having that old person's neck thing. I'm like, oh God, like, you know, I don't want an old person's neck. That's not what I'm about. I'm about my vanity. So um I'm Q, I may try to jump on. I'm on my phone. Can yeah. I try to jump on like the uh the regular one? I'm gonna try again. So I, I don't let's know. Let's see what happens. I I, I mean um, you look fine. You look good. I don't know. Okay, good, I'll, good, I'll good. Did yeah. everybody have a good week? I hope everybody had a good week. Um, are, are our friends unmuted? Muted yeah, we can, we can. Let's do let's, let's get everybody involved here real quick. I'm and really excited have... about the show tonight. We have some really awesome. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go on the computer. I think I'm better on here. Oh, um, you're, oh okay. You're popping on. Yeah. Let me in on this. Cause my, my computer has been like a complete douchebag. Uh, I don't know, the, ang so, the angle on your hey. neck right now, but look at oh. your neck looked really good. Well, you, I listen, don't know. you're in two places at once, buddy. With more Patrick Nay, the better. Well, Nicole, you were, you were nice enough to see that. that. All right, okay. I'm telling echo, you, your echo. neck looks so young. In, in oh, one my God. oh my God, you are you are you're too nice, too nice. You too. All right, hold on, let me, let me just disconnect this. Yeah. This. Okay. Can you see now? Yes. I feel right. like we just got out of the Matrix. What was that? <laughs> was. Oh my God. We have such a great show tonight. I'm so I'm so super psyched for this. This is great. We have a we have a new friend, Alice Hamilton, who is one of those people that I'd never met and just blew me away. And like I was such a weirdo when I was doing a show. He's like, You're great. And I was like, Dick's oh, never gonna want to be on her show. And of course, the hilarious Nicole Blaine. I love her. She is an awesome uh west side comic there i said it okay Ooh, nice uh, again and of course one of our oldest and dearest friends who's muted q so Who please is? Uh, mr andrew donnelly who's he's, basically he's he looks like a, like a quaffed guy in a bond villain mode there <laughs> looks yeah, good What's nice up, to see you yeah, i know so who my target is i know who my target is one single target <laughs> as the bond villain Right. <laughs> and we're going for 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Ooh, we will oh, see. And believe me, I know you're not a fan. I know you're not a fan. Um, yeah. You have had so many looks, dude. I can't believe how many, like, first of all, anybody who's watching, Andrew's been in like 8 billion freaking commercials. Not anymore. You look like eight different people. Yeah. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> they killed that business. They yeah, killed that business. I'm in witness relocation. That's why I keep on changing it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to mix it up. When it was happening, when it was happening, how many how many commercials did you have running at once? What's your what's your record? All I know is that after 9/11, um, not to start dark, but absolutely <laughs> start dark. I booked I booked five national commercials from September 11th till the end of the year of that year. For some reason, I figured I, I need to get the money to go into full Armageddon mode and lockdown. Um, but yeah, so I had those running the, during that time. But it was hilarious. I was just like, why is this happening? Um, that was that because you're the guy. That the, Yeah, right after 9-11, I was the guy. I was you know, I'm the only guy who prospered after 9-11 because of 9-11. <laughs> my, my first national commercial was around 9-11 as well. And yeah. um, 
I did the first I did the first commercial with biracial couple. And because of 9-11, they re-ran it because because I saved a dog out who was like in the rain. It was like the most, you know, it was like Land Rover bullshit. But uh, right. I, dogs can't be in the rain. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Back in those days, they paid you, Q. Uh, yeah. You can go out, uh, you can take one of those checks and buy a lump of co- cocaine. And it was great. I, like, no, I never did that. Nothing like a big rock. That's great. Really good. Um, I'm not, you know what? We have such a great show. I there's a couple things I, I want to uh talk about as we get started. I'm very I just want, I just want to I, I do want to point out we've you know, yeah. we've only got our, our guest for a few minutes because he's so on the go, you know what I mean? So I just okay, sure. so, and so we've got yeah. we've got about three minute warning and then we've got to bring him on because he's got to get a move on, keep rolling. So just FYI, okay, so go Q, for it. Q, you will let me know because we have yep. a very, yeah, I got you, minute. I got your light, I got your okay. light. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I've, I've been having such a great time and, and semi quarantine, um, things are going great. I just got my test back and I tested positive for gout. Okay. Nice. That's a hacky joke, but I'm still going to use it. I'm still going to use it. Um, my kid is still treating me like, um, his mom's divorced boyfriend calling me by my first name. Which actually, is- I actually heard that earlier. That was great. Yeah, yeah. He he calls me my first name, which you know it's a lot of respect for me. I got my hair cut um, uh, by the guy that does Ken Burns hairdo, as you can see. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's working well. That's working well. Um, you know what? I just want to talk, talk to all those people out there. Like, you know, a lot of these, a lot of kids and stuff that they'd be going to camp. This is like camp time. And uh, Nicole, did you go to camp? Of course, you were Jewish a kid? camp. I went to all the like every Jewish right, camp in LA. I've been to all of them. I've right. slept with every Jewish boy right, right. who had braces. <laughs> Give me a Jewish boy, I made out with him. Always in camp. <laughs> I knew that was coming. And uh, for, but personally, like you know, I grew up Irish Catholic. So, and I, I guess I still am because it's like in like I had it seared into the side of my brain. Um, but we, you know, we didn't go to like we were like the the Jewish kids who got to go to a fun camp. Well, I went to uh, a place we would go see my dad every summer called Camp Rehab. You ever heard of that? <laughs> um, it's, uh, 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 you know, you wear slippers and bro and bathrobes and, uh, you know, we would like make Zoloft s'mores and um, you know, like sit heaven. around the campfire go, you don't know me. You don't know me. <laughs> so that's, I miss that. <laughs> Those are good times. Those are good. So, uh, yeah, I can't believe I, I waited to do that. A bit. Um, <laughs> wow. I uh, thought it landed sweet. well. James Bergner. What? A... <laughs> sweet James Bergner. What is up with this creepy lawyer asshole? Do you know? Do you guys know who I'm talking about? He does commercials. No. Anybody? Anybody? No. Yes, I've heard of him. I know. Sweet yeah. Go ahead. He's got billboards. <laughs> <Andrew>. <laughs> He's like one of these creepy lawyers. I'm like, dude. If you want, and they do, he does a commercial and he does a close up and he has like really bad teeth. And I'm like, look, if you want my I slip on a banana peel lawsuit, you, if anybody knew who he was, that might have been funny. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, on that note, I think we need to, we need to, uh, we need to uh, get our, our guest on here real quick and have our nice little interview. Are you ready for that? Okay, because we, okay, we have a very special off. guest tonight who is running for president, if I'm not sure. Uh, if I'm yes. Not Mistaken? Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and on okay. all, all, the way yes. from, all the way from Scottsdale, Arizona, we've got uh, via all puppet players, uh, we have our special guest. Uh, let me let me bring him on here and make sure. Hugh, it's not. It's the real guy. It's shh, shh. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. All right. So I think we're. Well, yeah, yeah. I just well, I'm connected to the audio here. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and get that. Did you get the ones? Did you get the ones with the peanuts in them? Be, this is gonna be scary. It's gonna be well, scary. Mr. Hang in Mr. There. Vice President. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> Welcome America to my show. Is this my show? <laughs> Jill. I'm gonna tweet. I tweet right here. At Seth Myers, I love your show. Uh, did I do it right? I think I did it right. Vice President Biden, thank you for joining us. This is ah, great. I love what you've done to your eyes. I appreciate it. I love that you shaved for my appearance. 
Well, you look like a soccer dad that's four in to dropping his kid off at, at soccer practice. <laughs> well, my, 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 my kid, uh, he's not a big soccer guy, but thank you. Oh, all right. Well, forget. That. Yeah. Uh, forgot about it. <laughs> I did a gout joke, too. <laughs> at, at Rihanna. I love your music. Did I do it right? Jill, did I do it right? I think I'm tweeting. <laughs> Q, Q, I'm so glad to see you. Thanks for thanks for bringing me on. I'm glad that the it looks like what Old Navy had a clearance sale on 1994 Olympic wear. Oh, all, for you, all for you, Mr. Rare. Vice President. Anything yeah, I can do for you. <laughs> Go America, yeah. Uh, you're so ahead of the polls. You should just be relaxing, enjoying a, a cold beverage. Mr. Yeah, I'm so, I am. I'm still in my bunker. As you can see, I bought this background. I believe uh, it's a tablecloth. We just hung it up. Yeah, I, I love what you've done. I did not iron it uh, for you, as you can see, as I am now seeing on camera. What a shit show. Am I allowed to curse? Yes, at, yes. absolutely. At Jason yes. Biggs, I miss you. Did I do it right? I think I did it right. Jill? <laughs> you did it right you did it right um uh yeah i think you meant to say malarkey not shit show that's your that's your shtick remember malarkey huh <laughs> jill who the hell uh, are we talking to is this a, is this a caucus <laughs> <laughs> how's everybody doing <laughs> We're good. We're good. We're good. How, how, how did doing? you all? How'd you all get roped into this? You had my phone number, <laughs> and he Community texted service. me, texted Community me service. every damn day. Hey, don't! It's it was like uh, that old horror story, you know, where you're like, at six o'clock, the window washer will be in your house. At seven o'clock, the window washer will be in your house, and it was scary. Every fucking five minutes, I was getting a text saying, "Hey, you're still gonna be on the show." <laughs> At Mariah Carey, <laughs> I love Dream Girl. Yes. Do 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 uh, do 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 do. Jill, is that that song? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well, you look great. I mean, you look look. Thank you. You look good. You look uh, sharp. Your your uh, your left eye is a little off, but that's okay. We'll take it. Yeah, I had a, um, a beast. Your on hair me. perfect. You know. Well, like, yeah. Oh no. Oh dear. Wow, that's terrible. Uh, yeah. When are you uh, When are you going to come out of the bunker? Hmm. You know, right now I'm so ahead. I don't think it's wise for me to leave. I. Uh, they would... also uh, They also lock the door. <laughs> My campaign staff. They, they throw some food, I get a sugar packet, and uh, two Mars bars, and uh, a trail mix. They throw it under the door, and that's how I eat. Wow. I eat like Kevin Bacon in that movie where he was the prisoner. Ah, okay. Well, By the way, I love to reference 1990s movies that no one remembers. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't think I saw that movie. <laughs> yeah, Christian Slater is his lawyer, in case anyone was ever looked that up. IMDBB.com. Hold on. Right. IMDB, what's the name of that movie? <laughs> Hashtag Kevin Bacon, Six Degrees. I think I did it. Did I do it right, Jill? We'll find, we'll find out. <laughs> well, yeah. You got any more? You got some questions there for anybody? Got questions for uh, the pres, vice pres? I just have a statement. Uh, and, uh, I have a statement. Is it prepared? Okay. You gonna read it off? It's a prepared statement. I think that uh, did I get it right? Jill is that every T-shirt, every bumper sticker painted throughout America. For the next 90 days. Did I get it right, Jill? <laughs> Did I get it right, Jill? <laughs> that is fucking perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Are you going back to your messenger job after this? Is that why your bike is getting a prominent shot in this? You're goddamn right I am. I got nothing else, pal. Nothing. Yeah, good for you. I, I, you know, they, they don't give me a bike. I just have a big hamster wheel. <laughs> That's actually just my wallpaper. <laughs> oh, wow. It's so realistic. It's super realistic. <laughs> Is that a fat head? You got a fat head for a bike. That's I got a great. fat head bike thing. <laughs> Lance Armstrong used to be on it. You ripped him off. <laughs> I got it on Amazon.com. Amazon spelled with two N's at the end. <laughs>
Oh my god. I love sleepy. Jill, dogs. what does that mean? <laughs> What's a two ends joke? Is that a we'll find out. I want to know we'll how out. far Jill is down that hallway. Jill! <laughs> Jill's through the, on the other side of the door. But she's not even in the bunker. Right. I'm, I'm now wondering if she's even still in the house. Jill! <laughs> ah! She might be in the gazebo uh. having, a, having a lemonade. <laughs> Why does my wife what talk is, like that? I don't know. What's a, what's That's a, Jill a spot on? A what is she a doctor of? What's her what's her uh, her background? Oh yeah, well uh, Jill is a doctor of. Um, uh, she, but, 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 but. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah. Add Alexa. Uh, yeah. What's I want to do? <laughs> we'll get it. Uh, <laughs> so what? Are, <laughs> oh, it's quiet time. It's quiet time. She's already in bed. Okay. She, everybody, what, uh, everybody, <laughs> Keep it down. Hey, uh, Mr. Vice President, what what mm -hmm. what are you going to do on day one? Day one, when you get in there, what are you going to do? Well, take a nap right on that desk. There's nothing on it, so I'm gonna take a nap. Uh, I'm gonna um. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's Jill. <laughs> That's probably it. <laughs> Can you see me at Twitter? Hit me back. I think I did that right. Did I do that right? She's just quiet time. She didn't want me to. She's asleep. What'd you have for dinner tonight? What did I have for what? Dinner tonight. I told you a sugar packet. I, I ration it every morning. And uh, oh, I found a, a tangelo under the couch. Or oh, it could goodness. have been a it could have been a tennis ball. I, it was something like that. It was okay. it was tasty. <laughs> Why do you look like one of the White Walkers from Game of Thrones? This Ooh. is terrifying. <laughs> is that a bad guy? <laughs> oh, the, oh, Game of Thrones. I love that. I love that movie. <laughs> Me and Jill saw all all those movies. Uh, uh, Elijah Wood is a national treasure. <laughs> is that right? At Twitter, Elijah Wood, I loved you in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Hit me back. I do it right. Uh, what do you what do you think of Donald Trump uh, saying that he uh, should postpone the election that he wants to? Yeah, I don't think of him. That's oh, uh, I think that that's what everybody should do. They should not think of him. Uh, right now, he's uh, funnier than SNL. <laughs> well, that's not that you know it's you. yeah you know it's bad when mitch mcconnell disagrees with you you know you're not on the right <laughs> right step of history when even old mitch when old sourpuss mitch is like mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. i don't think so mitch looks like a melted candle that used to be whoopi goldberg <laughs> hashtag whoopi goldberg love your candle line <laughs> Win Sister Act 3, hashtag not too soon. Did I do it right? Jill. Jill. It's fine. Oh, man. Well, I tell you what, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Yeah, Vice let's President. wrap this up. I think everybody is shocked enough, and I think I've got all the comedy I can. <laughs> Listen, it was really great for everybody. Plus, uh, somebody ordered Grubhub. I think he's got to hop on his bike and go deliver it soon, so I need to get out of here. <laughs> hey, Mr. Vice President, where, where can people look you up? Where can they find what you guys do? Where do yeah, you uh, this is brought to you by All Puppet Players. We're an R-rated puppet show company. Uh, that does uh, uh, nightly sold out shows in Arizona, but because of COVID, uh, they, they enlisted me to do, to do performances in front of 13 live people. So <laughs> quite a step back. <laughs> thank you guys for letting me come on and uh, don't forget to vote. Uh, Joe you know Biden. What? Oh, sorry, Jill, I didn't mean to scream. <laughs> Jill. All right. Thank you all for letting me come on. Thanks, Stay Mr. rated R. Thank you very much. Talk to you <laughs> Thanks, soon. Mr. Vice President. Peace. <laughs> Did you just well, cut him go. off? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, it had to go. It was time to go. No, that was great. Biden's uh, got to respect the light. <laughs> yeah, I really hope that yeah, Biden you know, I, he has to get his sleep. You know what I mean? He's got to get his sleep. He's, uh, you know. 
I'm Gotta worried get... about that guy. He's a cute. That's the kind of puppet that will like find you and try to murder you. <laughs> I know. I know. He was actually calling me. He said I was calling him all the time. He was calling me and he forget. He kept forgetting he was calling me. Yeah. <laughs> See this I, he's, 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 in the closet. I hope during the debates that real Joe Biden gets that close to the camera all the time. Oh, that'd be wonderful. So fucking awesome. And just says, did I get it right, Jill, after every debate question? By the way, he had solid bike jokes. Those are solid bike jokes. How many fat heads do you have? How many fat heads do you have? Fucking perfect with the grub hub on the bike. Good. He was good. He was good. (laughs) <laughs> but you know what? Here's, but the reality of it is, we have such great comics, uh, with or without Joe the puppet. Um, so let's get to them. And and one of my very favorite uh, West Side comics, because we have a few tonight, is a very lovely lady who's also a mom, who's also um, you know. Um, You've been on TV and stuff, right? Like we all have. Well, all of us. I didn't get. To, I didn't cause 9/11 so that I would have a lucrative career <laughs> commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Believe me, I didn't make. I wasn't making that Donnelly money. He was making some scratch. I was Dude. getting like I was getting a little something. It's all like gone. That. It's all yeah, gone. 11, <laughs> fuck you, money. This is a great Nicole intro, by the way. Who wrote this? <laughs> I want this to be my permanent intro. This is it. <laughs> I will well, tell like, you, you my worst intro. Do you want to know my worst intro? Yeah. This was yeah. the worst. It's not even that fun of a story to do, but I will say that it was like heartbreaking was that I got into a one of those comedy competition festivals and oh, it was in another yeah. state oh, no. and in another city. And so my time that I needed to show up at and perform, it was one of those things where I still like flew in at the last minute and had my fucking luggage with me and wasn't gonna be able to change from whatever, but I needed to run onto the stage. And I go into this really cool hipster bar and I have my luggage and like my keys and whatever. And the lady checking me in, turns out she was the host too. So when I checked in, she was like, are you here to see the show? And I was like, no, I'm in it. And she's like, looked at me and she's like, okay. And then introduces me when I get to the stage. She's like, so guys, this next comic I thought literally was dropping her kids off in a minivan and like just driving by. But turns out she's in the show. Give it up for (laughs) this person. (laughs) This person? (laughs) And I was like, first of all, how did you know? I wish I had a minivan, okay? (laughs) Um, But it was horrible. It was like in, in a competition. Guys, that's the worst intro. So this to me is fucking lovely. Yeah, I'm that's gonna like take the it. comedy nightmare that you have, you know, right before you wake up before the earthquake the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So well, that went well. That, <laughs> yeah. and plus it's like you know, and you got to follow um, puppet Joe Biden. So I couldn't follow puppet Joe Biden <laughs> after seeing that. I was like, this his eyes. Let's just say that none of us know where we're looking on the Zoom. He did know where <laughs> so the good. entire time. <laughs> You look the best out of all of us. His neck looked better than yours, Patrick. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. Why did you have to say that? Oh, I know. I don't want to make you insecure. Uh, anyways, anyways, well, you're amazing. And you know we love you. And we're glad you're here. So, Nicole Blaine, everybody. Do your thing, lady. Come on. Thanks. Um, I, so, yes. Who are, are there other parents? Are there other people yes. that are parents? Yeah. Oh, yes. you, you too. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I, got, good, good, good. I got one. He's a dad. I think. He's a dad. Pretty sure. Yeah, how old is yours? How old is yours? She's 37. 10. Oh, okay, good. We are a girl. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. 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 I know. You're in a very peculiar moment in in her childhood. I get it. Yeah. Um, Well, I think it's always like this is the problem. And I'm sure as we now have so many parents on here, um, you know, the old best way to motivate children is by counting, right? Do you guys do any of the counting? The one, two, you guys do those? We put oh. some timers on. Oh, they're perfect. Yeah. Well, my husband is obsessed. He always does the, you don't want me to get to three, right? <laughs> um, so, so my son, he'll say something, you know, he'll say to my son, all right, it's time for bath. Let's go. And my son says, no. My husband goes one, two, boom, right to bath. He'll say to my daughter, it's bedtime, move it. And she's like, no, one, two, boom right to bed. And then he turns to me and he says, suck my dick. (laughs) And I'm like, no. (laughs) One, two, 
boom. <laughs> Just because that's how long he lasts. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah I don't know if your daughter has ever had this problem but when my daughter was little she was taking off her underwear and in it I saw less of a skid mark more of an actual poop sure oh, yeah boy. and I was like yeah and I was like honey you need to learn to wipe better and without hesitating she said it's not my poop <laughs> oh, God. Well, <laughs> um whose poop are you harboring <laughs> okay uh and i was like you know i really feel like the game doctor has changed a lot since we were kids um yeah <laughs> i forget the punchline about it. it's been too long there's like this whole there's a punchline just bear with it all right never mind um quarantine mom has been interesting are you trying to make things more fun for your kids now like do we feel like we don't want to scar them okay so i feel like i'm tr right this quarantine yeah. is either gonna they're gonna have a grow up and have a horrible memory or we have to make this really fun so i was like what we need to do is start partying with our kids like this is we're gonna make we're gonna do we pulled all-nighters okay we ordered pizza at 2 a.m um, I taught them to take an entire jar of peanut butter and just stick a huge Hershey's bar right in it and eat it out of the thing. Like we are having so much fun. We dance, we sing, we've laughed for 15 minutes about nothing. So that one day, 10 years from now, my kids are going to be in a dorm room and they're going to be passing around a jar of peanut butter. And my daughter's going to have this flashback. And all of a sudden she's going to remember the quarantine and she's going to go, oh my God, my mom was the biggest pothead. <laughs> He's totally gonna figure me out in flashback um and as we all know all of us parents now we all got our second job right we're all officially homeschool teachers <clears throat> yep you yeah. guys homeschooling it's horrible yeah uh so when so i was homeschooling my now third grader right and every single time he memorized a new multiplication fact and he got it right i was always like we need to celebrate let's give me a kiss and finally, he said to me, he was like, mommy, you know what? You can't kiss me anymore because now you're my teacher and it's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you know what? If you really know how to use your words, buddy, because if I had thought of saying that to my high school math teacher, I would have saved a lot of money in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? So he's also, now that I'm, yeah, that, exactly. <laughs> would have saved so much. Um, <laughs> He's, he's very demanding. Now that I'm home every night and I have to put him to bed, I found out that he barks a lot of orders, right? To put it, like I have to lie there with him forever. And um, he likes it when I like rub his back. And so he starts screaming at me, do the chilies on my back. I'm like, okay. And then he goes, um, do the chilies a little bit lower on my back. Okay. <laughs> and he goes, do the chilies in, in, in my butt, like up inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah and i was like buddy i don't know about you but that's like three glasses of wine territory <laughs> <laughs> my husband that's like four um but he keeps barking these orders and he's super kind of like rude about it and all of a sudden it clicks in with me maybe because i'm a professional homeschool teacher now um i realized this could be a teachable moment and i could talk to him and think about like how he talks to me right now would be how he speaks to his future lovers, okay, right? He's giving me direction on what pleases his body. So I was like, this is my moment to teach him to be a good man, a good partner, right? So I said to him, hey, buddy, you know, if you want me to make your body feel good, <laughs> what you really need to do, okay, is give me lots of positive feedback when I do it, say it really nice. And if you really want me to spend a long time on you, I think you have to spend about an hour pleasing me first. <laughs> you know and then maybe I'll do it back if I don't you can't get mad you know that's that's just kind of how it's gonna go and as I hear these words that are now being said to you um I don't know I don't know where this bit is going <clears throat> <laughs> probably sending me to prison but um Jill are you there <laughs> <laughs> did I get it right yeah. Jill <laughs> pretty sure oh. prison is where I'm going so good um, so that, that's it I think quarantine is going to let me lead me into prison and that's about it <laughs> yay yay Woo! cool <coughs> all right that was great oh.
Always great, Nicole. Thank and, you. And uh, how's summer been for you with the kids uh, how's that going summer with me? them is worse it's yeah it's worse yeah, than yeah. It, i don't know what's worse homeschooling them or having them here now staring at me while i'm trying to do work and ignore them it's 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 terrible nothing's it's good. terrible you? yeah no, uh it's, it's we we have an online camp going on right now but it's like it's you know it sucks right, yeah it so, sucks. you know but it's like because we're like we don't want you to have your your you know five year, like mental years here because like this this time is so long for a kid for us it's like oh, goes time point. goes so fast but for a kid it's like crawl so that's true. did I do that right Jill okay sorry <laughs> um, anyways well we were very glad to have you and you're you're always very funny and you're awesome. a good you sport go. too so. Yeah. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, uh, I'm very excited because the next lady who is on our show is someone that I, and, and I'm not trying to sound maudlin, but like I do a lot of shows and it's like every once in a while, somebody's like, holy shit, that chick's fucking funny. And this is one of those situations. So I'm very excited to have the, the very sweet and wonderful Alice Hamilton here. Hey. Hi. Woo. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Thanks yes. for having me on the, the Facebook hello, show. Hello. Awesome. Thanks, man. We're, we're I, old I, folks here. This is the old folks' home. They might be Joe <laughs> Biden. Come on, do the math. <laughs> God, I, d I just I look young because I got this fucking skateboard behind me. It's not my skateboard. Yeah. It, definitely just, fucking, it belongs on the wall. Oh, yeah. It was there when I moved in, so it's staying up there. <laughs> I feel like I've never gotten like, I feel like I've gotten like, okay, intros. I got a. I got one that was like an outro that kind of hurt a little bit because <laughs> I, I was at an open mic and there was this woman there and she was drunk off her ass and she had this like really like crazy long curly hair and she flops over on the table that I'm sitting at and her hair goes right into a candle. So I quickly oh. separate the two and then I look at the candle. It's like a Glade plug in, but I look at it, the host and he was like, oh, my God, like her hair just almost went in a candle. So uh, before I went up, he was like, you know, give it up for Alice. She's been like a, a great audience member and, she, you know, she's going to be a great comic or she won't. I don't know. Or we'll see how it goes. And then I went up on stage and I bombed my ass off. <laughs> and then as I left, he goes, give it up for Alice, everybody, as advertised. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Oh, God. <laughs> it, oh, it's man. too funny. You know I, I had to disrespect it. <laughs> You, you gotta have those moments or, or you're not you know what i mean it's almost like you're not real if you don't have to go through that you know what i mean it's, oh, yeah. it's hilarious very funny very funny everyone's gotta be there sometime <laughs> oh, oh alice i will say my worst <laughs> outro was when i bombed for 10 straight minutes in the most awkward possible way they clearly hated me and then i went off the stage and fell Awesome. And it was raped by a good four feet. I tripped over a speaker and I fell into the audience and they were still worried about me from the bad performance and they didn't know how to handle it. <laughs> you know what? what? If you have if you bomb a set, if you bomb a set, you should be allowed to just take the whole show down with you. Just fall <laughs> off the stage, rip a curtain, mm -hmm. like just mm -hmm. burn it down on your way out. <laughs> sure. I'm down for that. Yeah, thanks for having me on the show. I didn't even know how it worked. I didn't know Joe Biden was going to be here. I mean, how exciting. Well, we like to play around a little bit. So we we, I sh we should apologize up front. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We keep it alive a little bit. Keep, keep, it, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Start the show keep with a, crazy. a strong I'm sorry. That's how America's going to have to be after Donald Trump. <laughs> Anything that we do, we go to the Olympics, all of our medalists are like, and we're sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the apologists, that's hilarious. Yeah. We're going to have to oh, literally God. do an apology to her after all is said and done. <laughs> oh, my God. To the, to the universe. <laughs> and apologize okay. to Mars and Jupiter. <laughs> too embarrassing. What? Yeah. We're embarrassing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Should I Lay tell on. a few jokes? Is that how it works? Yeah, go yeah, for it. Right. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. yeah, slide in. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah, we'll give you a little guidance. You got like uh, go over like four or five minutes, six minutes. This is still go. the intro. Yeah, this is still the intro. <laughs> <laughs> <That's whatever. laughs> it's a cold oh, open. Man. Yes. That's That's another right. Try to be as cold as we can. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, well, a little bit about me. I was a nanny for a long time, and I uh, the last family I nannied for, uh, one of the kids uh, would try to kiss me on the mouth because his <laughs> his parents would kiss him on the mouth. So like that was all he knew for his entire life. <laughs> So whenever he would like try to kiss me, I'd always be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you have any idea how many dicks have been in there? Move back. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not fucking fucking with you. Uh, I was a nanny for a long time. I started babysitting when I was seven. My mom opened a daycare center in our house. I started managing like uh, see through senior year of high school. I ran my own daycare center for three years. And all of that to say that if I tell you that your baby is ugly, that is my professional opinion <laughs> of your fucking gross baby. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Man, oh, this election is fucking stressing me out, dude. Uh, last election felt important. Felt like a, we might have fucked up by putting the you're fired guy in charge. I don't know. I'm starting to regret some of our yeah, decisions in the think? country. Yeah. <laughs> I voted I voted Bernie last time I voted Bernie in the primary and Hillary in the general and I liked Hillary but like I fucking get it she would tell Christians her favorite book was the Bible no it's not she told black people she had hot sauce in her purse no you fucking don't <laughs> I just felt like if you ask Bernie like how are you gonna try to appeal to young voters he'd be like everybody gets health care everybody gets to go to college you ask Hillary how are you gonna try to appeal to young voters and she'd be like well me and the millennials are gonna Pokemon go eat some ass nigga what's good <laughs> 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 pandered a little bit uh, she did uh. <laughs> Kim Kardashian uh, she just launched her new skincare line in Israel uh, which is by far the worst thing that's ever been launched into Israel. Um, <laughs> tragedy is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. All right, fine. No more Palestine jokes. Um, <laughs> uh, whenever, whenever anybody from Boston says, "So you think you're better than me?" Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> that's, that's exactly it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Every man, woman, and child from the city of Boston is beneath me. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, I feel like after everything, but we can all right. agree. That, <laughs> we can all agree that police officers shouldn't just get to murder somebody and then not go to jail for it. They're not football players. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. If you, I'm sorry, but if you cannot rush for a reason, then you haven't earned what OJ's earned. Okay, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> whenever, a, whenever a white person tells me uh, that, like, oh, I'm not racist, I always think mm, I'll be the judge of that. We'll see. <laughs> Yet to be determined. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm trying to be woke. I'm trying to be woke. It's not easy. Uh, I just found out that Ariana Grande is not Mexican. This shit is hard. I didn't know. <laughs> Turns out she's just a white lady who wears an amount of self tanner that I personally feel borderlines blackface. She is so <laughs> brown. And like, I'm not even trying to shit on Ariana. I love her and I love her music. And I'm not trying to like shit on white women who use self tanner. You can use self tanner. <laughs> you cannot use wood finish. <laughs> <laughs> <There's a line. laughs> like her last name is not even grande it's grandy as in yankee doodle dandy ariana grandy she's white and she's been white the whole time <laughs> oh, God. is this a true story by the way this is a true ass story this bitch is italian she's wow. not even I, close to brown. I did not know that i wouldn't know one yeah. song that's how stupid i am <laughs> The number of like Mexican people who have told me they're genuinely disappointed because she they thought that she was like repping for the team, <laughs> only to find out that she's just like an imposter. <laughs> I've I've heard abuelas is what I'm saying. <laughs> Pew, you could be like a Polish rapper and pretend you're like <laughs> I'm from Poland. <laughs> I'm Polish. All right. All right. Right? I got one more joke and then I'm outie. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't like that women get like a bad rap for like talking too much or like talking a lot. It's like you're being boring when we talk like guys are boring, too. If you've ever told anyone anything about your fantasy football team, you're not allowed to complain that your girlfriend talks too much. <laughs> like, I don't want to hear it. You know, so like, true. 
You don't think that I get bored listening to my boyfriend go on and on about his stupid wife? Like, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Pretty funny. God, yeah. Alice Hamilton. Jeez. That was nice. That was so, nice. Yeah, that was, was nice. Really having you, having you. Nice. Yeah. You, 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 yeah. Uh, let me tell you something. You graduated from open mic. So if, as if somebody <laughs> needs to put a sword on your shoulder or something, I'll be here. I'm going to do that. Like, I'm going to be knighted. Never no comedy. more old yeah. open mics. Yes. Yes. Very funny. Very original. Very cool. You are my new uh, favorite new friend. Um, very Heck funny. Yeah. Give it up. Come on. Let's give it. You guys, Woo! come on. Give her one more little something. First time on our I like, little I like show. when you first introduced me uh, in the beginning. You were saying like, oh, I was like giving too many compliments. No, I'm just narcissistic enough to be like, oh, my God, he's right. Like, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> you sound like my mother-in-law. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? Deserved. We, we love having funny ladies on the show, and we definitely had a couple tonight. So very Hell much yeah. appreciated. But, Go lady. Um, oh, and and, and, and me, you'll be back, right? We, we can bother you to come back. Oh, fuck yeah. This was fun. I enjoyed this. Okay, yeah. good. And, and you know what? Joe Biden, yes, he, he can come across as like sometimes like a puppet, but uh, <laughs> you know, once you get to know him, he's okay. <laughs> uh, I, I have a feeling we'll be seeing Still, more. did I do it right? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I never threw to jail. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that's... <laughs> See, that's, a, that's an easy, shitty laugh. Um, but, uh, but one of my other favorite people on this planet of comedy in Los Angeles is a guy who we talked to earlier briefly, who's here tonight. He just got back from, uh, he just brought back some subway to, uh, somebody in, in Westwood and he's here tonight. Mr. Andrew frickin' Donnelly, everybody. Uh, Come on. Yeah. Welcome back. Buddy. Yeah. The man from <laughs> Mammoth. Is this how you do is this how you do the shows on the online? <laughs> Holy fucking Jesus. Alice, by the way, I'm from Boston. You're fucking better. Way better than me. You're fucking way better. Donnelly, I should have known. <laughs> oh my God. I'm from fucking bon, bon and bread in the city right there. The most fucking racist thing. North of Selma, <laughs> fucking Boston, <laughs> Massachusetts. Own it. I'm going to be friends with you because I'm a white guy and I'm going to fucking figure it out. I have figured it out, Alice. <laughs> oh, Hell yeah. But you are better than me. You are, absolutely. This is, uh, this is it. I'm, um, I am back from the mountain. I was in the mountain. I, first of all, shout out. I got people tonight on here from Warren, Vermont. Let them hear it. Ooh. Yeah, there's, yeah. Up oh, there. not, there's, hell yeah. there's four or five unmasked tech nerds <laughs> up there, and they're making out in the woods. They're hiking and they're sharing one glass um, <laughs> of IPA from the Warren <laughs> Brewery, and they're trying to be super spreaders within Warren. And one of them tackled a bear and made out with it the other day that I saw. Um, so those are my friends in Warren. One of them is my my blood brother. Um, uh -huh. And he's there with his with his friends, his his um, his post millennial uh, friends who enjoy um, uh, local beef. And um, and anyway, I'm just uh, I enjoy waking up every morning and having a, from from about eight to ten. I have a nervous breakdown every single day. <laughs> like for fucking, by the way, Q, I love your outfit. You're the fucking rapey gymnast coach from USA Gymnastics. Um, or, or you are the webmaster for all the Russian bots um, that is showing up to, to, to testify in front of Congress. You're like, I'm not, I am not Russian bot, I am USA. I am USA. <laughs> I am not, I don't know an effect election. I, USA all the way for Olympic gold medal for hockey and for the curling where they sweep the ice, the thing goes in, they sweep, they have slacks on. That's how you do it. That's how oh, you're Olympic. That's how you do it. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. That's I'm, a compliment. Uh, I appreciate I'm seriously going fucking insane. I haven't worked, and by worked, I mean gone to an audition. Um, for a regional Dunkin' Donuts voiceover for a radio commercial that runs in one guy's car. Um, I haven't done that since late February. I'm looking into other work uh, to save, uh, save a lot of things. The house, uh, the plane, 
uh, some club <laughs> memberships, um, some <laughs> men's club memberships where women are not allowed. I know it's not thing, but it's a different thing. They have a nice grilled cheese with a BLT <laughs> in the grill room. No spikes. That's for Vermont. That joke is for the people in Warren, <laughs> Vermont. Yeah, they know yeah. it, and they'll probably yeah. like it on well, Facebook and retweet. <laughs> retweet. Yeah, yeah. Where's the likes? Come on. Where's the likes from Facebook? Fucking Warren. Am I doing it right, Jill? I'm absolutely. I don't have to check with Jill. I don't have to check with you. I love that. I love the. I got. It's I the old Letterman bit. In Vermont. Right. It's the old Letterman bit when he goes check with Paul. Is that right, Paul? <laughs> Right. Works every totally. time. That's what I thought. What's that? Yep. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's the, I the classic. The same thing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going. Delicious fucking, Stone IPA. Uh, yeah, I got my Stone IPA because I'm trying to deal with myself at night. Um, <laughs> I'm here in my office away from the family. They're in bed or one of them is in bed and the other one's probably uh, online looking at me going, that's what he does. That's why he wants to stay in LA and make it. That's, he's got his fucking 1997 headphones on. He doesn't even have the fucking wireless shit. He's got the ones that came with the iPhone SE originally back when Jobs was on the... Anyway, I just, I love... I'm fucking, I just am I'm going fucking insane. I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm, I'm, I've only done this since 1998 and I've been unemployed since 1998, but I've only done this since 1998. Yeah. So I don't know what else I'm, I could work at REI because I could talk about tents till I'm fucking tent in the face. Um, I could work at Patagonia. I could work at Subaru. Um, I'm thinking about becoming a real estate mogul, um, which is going to be fun. Wow. Like, the, like, and then I can do the real estate uh, funniest guy in real estate shows at the improv or at the laugh factory um, where I, I'm, I'm a fucking total just destroy because I was a professional comedian but now I'm like <laughs> the fucking headlining realtor guy who comes up and does jokes about easements and um, <laughs> uh, freehold lease bullshit anyway I'm telling you right now I'm going to become a real estate mogul I'm going to start flipping houses um, and what I'll do is I'll squat in them um, after the foreclosures start parts. coming, the foreclosures are going to start coming. I squat in them and then I flip the shit out of that. I don't improve it that much. I put a roll of toilet paper in each bathroom and a roll of paper towels. That's my flip maneuver. I'm like, look at this. Was that here before? That's an improvement. <laughs> I love Fucking it. A, man. When is this going to end? You know when this ends? Never. Exactly. It's not this is a perpetual loop. Time. I think we should do this show all the time. And by all the time, like we should never get offline and just continue <laughs> to do this show. Don't tell Q he'll do that. I'm in Monday through Friday. He's in Russian bot host. He's in. Never sleep. Spots never sleep. He's in. I That's love that. Hardware. I love the stripes oh that go all the way down the shoulder. That's the classic. It's, and you, it's good. Have you, you guys seen look the like, show? What's um, There's a show. There's a, a show. Russia, that like a, a, Am I going out? Palm Springs. Have you guys seen Palm Springs with Andy Samberg? Yes. As a matter of fact, no. I just watched it. I thought it was it's hilarious. I thought it was great. Yes. I feel like we should all recommend it. And it kind of feels like what Andrew was saying. I feel like <laughs> it, it sort of fits into what you're talking about. Yeah. Just yeah. watch that. I thought it was really good. I mean, it's it fucking, really good um, yeah, that's just fucking insane. Around By around. the way, Nicole and I have a contractual oh. obligation. She's supposed to plug Andy Samberg projects in the middle of my set. And that we, we agreed upon that right there, right beforehand. There, right there. Any Sandberg vehicle, it goes right in. Wait, I thought it was over. Is this the middle of your set? Nicole, I'm oh, just no. starting Sorry. this right now. I, I was, this is your that was all intro yeah, before. I'm back in the city right now. And the city, I mean, whatever, whatever the fuck this is, a sprawling suburb with strip malls. And, and um, by the way, I rode my bicycle. That bicycle by a, um, a homeless encampment. Again, I have empathy. I have empathy. On Rose. What's that? On Rose. On Rose, yeah. right? On Rose. But there's another yep, one. There's another one I saw where someone has gone out, love, lovely, lovely so, which is not a word, but they've purchased these Coleman 10 person tents from Costco and they just pop right up. They're just like inflate up tent kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, they got that fucking dialed in. They got that fucking situation dialed in 10 person tent a lot of space for your shit you can still have your multiple personalities inside the tent with the opioid situation because you get a 10 person tent you got all kinds of voices in there to sleep with you nice i'm insensitive 
<laughs> but I do. I when I ride by some of those, I did it today on Venice, and I'm like, that's a fucking sweet REI tent. That's nicer than my tent when I go camping. It's a nice. They're nice tents, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's a sustainable lifestyle, and I'm fucking three seconds away. I haven't worked. I like right now. I get what's going on with the porn decision. I totally get it. I mean, it's like it's like you're just like where what, the condoms what do, you do for money at this point. Like I. I might, you start to mix it up and you're like, like I have a gag reflex, so I probably wouldn't be good at, you know, oral, an oral situation. But um, am I that far from a webcam? I'm doing this right now. I mean, I have an open collar. What, what's next? <laughs> Fucking abs, five bucks. You can see my middle-aged white racist abs. <laughs> Bots pay a lot for that. I'm not yeah. racist. My abs are fucking bigots. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you five bucks to put a burka on. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you. Oh. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's here's how this is. Most of the shows. This show I show my face, but most of the shows I do like this. <laughs> this is my ex this is my extraordinary <laughs> rendition character. Um, I've been abducted by uh, ISIS, and then I'm taken to a location. I'm tied to a lawn chair, and then they ask me a bunch of questions about real estate that I don't know. That's where I'm fucking headed. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I, I would watch that show. Say again, sorry. My, I would my, watch that show. You would watch that show, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. uh, I think I might be the dad in black jeans that takes out the president, by the way. And I know we only when, when's oh. the election? November 15th? Is that what it is? I thought it was third. Third. I think it's the 15th. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You vote third. on the 15th. It might, it might get postponed. It might get postponed. I, so. I already no, vote, it will not be. be. It should be postponed due to yeah. rain. Um <laughs> the um but I might be the black jean dad who um I think the only way to get him, I mean I think I've the only way to actually take him out, and it's like now we have to wait for the election, but we don't have to wait for the election because um, I, if you, I Googled, like during this whole Black Lives Matter situation, a lot of people are in the streets and I, I was in Mammoth and I went to one protest, but I was thinking like, how can I help out? So I started to look into situations of how I could actually take the president out, not kill him, but remove him from the building um, so then we could take him to the, you know, the proper situation. But um, I figured we... You, I started Googling uh, D Washington, D.C., uh, best plumbers in Washington, D.C., because I figured we can go through the duct system and the plumbing system, and as soon as he sits down to take a shit in the morning, we come up through the pipes, and he's spineless, so we pull him through like a fucking octopus through the pipes <laughs> down into the system, and then we cuff him, and then we bring him right outside, and, oh, it's great, of course. Um <laughs> Again, I've contacted a plumber, and now we got to wait. Good, dude. Got to get a permit. He needs a plumber. I need Hugh, a plumber. He, he actually needs a plumber. I literally, there's a drip it's, above me as we speak. It, from really, it's See, dripping it's, above him. That's one of the professions. Like I'm, like I've only done comedian and commercial actor. Like, what else could I do? I could do, I could do porn star. I could totally. I'm like, who doesn't want to see a middle-aged porn star with white hair um, and like a weird, emaciated body from a bicycle? Who doesn't want to see that? Yeah, you, but but Andrew, Andrew, that's a niche for all the commercial for the uh, for all the commercials you've done, and you've done many. You've done many. Sure. At least you've never done one with Trump, right? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh -oh. oh Dave. You know this, heard this one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So you could have killed. You could have taken him out. I'm saying I have. I did a Snapple <laughs> commercial with him in New York <laughs> eons ago in his building. So in Trump Tower. Um, we're up there and it's a perfect metaphor because Trump Tower, we take the elevator up and we go to an empty floor, which is the perfect fucking situation is that you go inside and everything's empty. There's like wires and drop, you know, drop down ceilings with, with coaxial cable and fucking Wi-Fi or, um, you know, Ethernet cable. Uh, I want to get my tech references, not Wi-Fi, yeah. Ethernet cable drop from the ceiling. So we go up there and he's there. Everyone's laughing at him for like 45 minutes and he's trying to direct the commercial. And it's like all, I mean, I, and I thought about it. And I was with my, actually, I was with my friend Daryl who is an African-American dude and we both hated him. We hated him <laughs> fucking way back when. So we, we had it. 
we had the fucking white guy plant in me and then we had a black guy and we could have fucking he was he was the sandwich in between us and all i needed to do was take a number two ticonderoga pencil and just fucking jab it right up <laughs> right up into the fucking kidneys and then just sort of look at him and hold him and hold his hand back and be like, it's okay, Don. Just fucking breathe it up. This is how daddy, this is how daddy wanted. This is how mommy wanted it from military school. This is the Taj Mahal in your kidney right now. This is all fun. Just breathe it out, Donnie. Breathe it out. And I didn't fucking do it. And I'm so sorry. But I had the thought at the time. I was like, fuck. Just right in and just drop him like a romantic scene. Yeah, but you remember, you remember, you remember the residuals. The residuals. I apologize. It was, yeah. I was like, yeah, got to get that Snapple residual. I can't do it. I can't do it. But that's it was some sweet, it was, that's some sweet The entire cash. building is empty. I thought like maybe the whole building is fucking empty. Every floor is empty. And then just he's on top pretending with his fucking gold lion fucking couch um, and his stupid wife. Um, and yeah. She's Did you find jet. him to be an intelligent person in person? I mean, for all honesty, no kidding aside, like he tried to direct the commercial immediately. He literally was like, no, I wouldn't say that. And we were like, it's fucking Snapple. You wouldn't say that about <laughs> Snapple? <laughs> fucking idiot. And, and he didn't, igno also Daryl and I were like, let's not touch him. Let's not fucking shake his hand. Let's not even make eye contact. And like, he did that to us. And we're like, no, okay, well, I guess he fucking wins that one. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> but he was such a shit. When he left, I mean, when he left, everybody just fucking had a sigh of relief. And the director and the crew were just like, oh, thank fucking God. Because we're all there for him, waiting for fucking him. And it was just, I mean, at the time, it was just The Apprentice and he was harmless. But now, yeah. Now it needs to be taken out by this guy via a plumbing system in my black jeans. I'll fucking go right up with a snorkel. <laughs> That's all I do. That, I check my phone every morning. I'm like, is he dead yet? That's the only reason why I have a phone. Yeah. <laughs> One day. But One day. Sleepy Joe is going to fucking It'll save be a the day. world with awkward yeah. pauses and awkward comments and fumbling for words that are basic and simple. And oh, fuck, if he fucks this up, they should take him out. <laughs> well, if he, if he wins the election, I'll let him smell his granddaughter's hair for 15 minutes. I know how much he wants to. Yeah. I know how much he loves to. I know. <laughs> we just give him a few minutes. Just sniff yeah. it. But it's, but it's so fucking insane. Like I went to one of the things he, well, here's the thing I would not advise during this quarantine had a family member died, not COVID un COVID related. Right. So we, we rent my, I rent, I have a ton of ADD, what, what you don't want to do if you have a ton of ADD and you're a dad, is the rest of the family agree to go get in a camper van and drive to Mississippi to go see the uh, mother of the guy that died, which is my wife's dad, right? So that was sad, terrible, but like, mm. like we're, in, we're in Mammoth, we're in a fucking house and we're going out there and then all of a sudden it's like, how can we fucking make this much more worse for everybody? <laughs> Let's get in a camper van, a rented camper van where the fucking cabinets are, but it's a constant fucking shaking and the squeaking and you have ADD and I have like sensory stuff where like sight, sound, smells are super fucking heightened. Every, I can see just everything around me and the fucking cabinets are squeaking the whole time and you're on the fucking 40 with the wind. Don't fucking do that. Do not get in a camper van. I mean, it was... I have no jokes. I'm just talking right now. I don't have any jokes about that, other than the fact that it was it's a fucking nightmare. Don't go camping with your family in a fucking van. It's like putting yourself inside of a, a can of tuna um, with a fucking ADD <laughs> nightmare. There. And I'm just fucking picking. I'm like, don't yep. talk. Don't don't put that on the radio. Don't. What What's that noise? That's a cabinet. Is it the fridge or the microwave? It might be the, I don't know what it is, but get it. Pull over. Fucking pull over. <laughs> Where's that squeak coming from? Where's Get back there. <laughs> That's fucking all the way to Mississippi and yep. back. I'm just like, what's that noise? What did you hear that? My wife's like, no, I, I am hard of hearing. I'm like, what are you fucking 80? Jesus Christ. I what? I don't hear and, anything. I'm like, go. And then I would, I would have her. What I would do is I would keep the car running and we're going in cruise control going 80. I'd have her jump into the driver's seat and then I would go back in the back and fucking check it out like a Navy SEAL. <laughs> Wow. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. What about the, and the dog threw By up. the way, I just want to say good crowd tonight. 
Good crowd. <laughs> a lot of good positive feedback and laughter. All the gratification, gratification is grat all the gratification is coming from me looking at my beard in my own shot. I'm like, wow, I kind of trimmed that well with my Panasonic trimmer. <laughs> which I am contractually obligated to say, but my, it's a GR80, I think. Got it at Best Buy, ran in for five minutes, didn't touch anybody. By the way, if you're not wearing a mask, walk into the fucking ocean. Yep. <laughs> Hell yeah. Walk into the ocean. Great. Take your family and your fucking entire <laughs> extended family, walk into the ocean because you clearly want to kill my Nana, who's right there. <laughs> oh, that's man. my nana and i love the reason why i showed her is so someone would go oh well nana. i think you've got your way but um but in all seriousness uh yeah it's amazing everyone's like concerned about the oc it's like no put the fence put the wall around the oc and let them fucking die at the beach we're well, thinning the herd there, if you thin that. the herd enough there will be a place to park at trader joe's and whole foods <laughs> Woo! Woo! I'm, by the nice. way the best way to travel right now is by i have a bicycle i've been on the thing the whole time because i have nothing else to do and i have no fucking job i take care of my kid i say hello to my wife in the morning i'm like i'm gonna be in uh the fucking hills somewhere and go ride my bicycle but like the best thing to do right now and this is just hey travel tip now i'm travelocity um or trip advisor but Get on a bicycle in LA or any city because there's no fucking traffic and you yeah. can ride around and fucking curse and just fucking yell at whatever and spit, you know, but not at a fucking person's face unless they don't have a mask on. You can spit right at them and go, right. hey, warning shot, dickhead. Put a mask on. Don't kill my Nana. <laughs> Did I get that right, Jill? <laughs> I'm going to steal that. I was that waiting from him. for that. I'm stealing that from him. <laughs> Did you get that right? I love that. Did oh, I, yeah. I mean, if he doesn't do that, that guy, uh, I don't know who that guy was. He was very funny, but like he should be like, I'm going to sell this fucking line to the guy. I'm man. telling you what, he's. I've gone to a couple of his shows. He's actually a friend of family. And, sure. uh, and, and Scott still, he's done some shows out here and it's phenomenal. It's really <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. So when he gets going and let you guys know, he's, it's it's fun. So I'm sure we'll be seeing him back on here in some capacity with some other characters. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have an Wait idea. a second. Sure. You just <laughs> dropped your Russian accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a Russian hat. The Q love you. The Q, that's it. Look at your backdrop, right? If you look at his in this portrait mode, where the fuck this mode is, like speaker mode, it's total fucking Russian bot webmaster trying yeah. to play himself well, off. Well, let me, let me. I am friend there of you. USA. <laughs> right now, he's like, he's screwing over like a, somebody yeah. with Bitcoin somewhere. He's like, Doogie Hauser, number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Friends. I watch your show. Friends Netflix. Friends oh, no, Netflix. Give me Bitcoin or I tell you your wife watches porn. Am <laughs> yes. Amazon well, this Prime. Has been, this Amazon Prime. Positive five star review. <laughs> Two ends. <laughs> this is been that, those stars uh, are from a the unique fucking, night. On the back on the back of that, and inside that hat there's a hammer and sickle. <laughs> That's for That's Warren Vermont. That's, That's a Chicago for Warren hat. Vermont. It's a Blackhawks hat. How dare oh, you, um, Bostonian? Hey, well, I, don't, I, I tell hey. you what, I tell you what, I'm honored that that Diggly Guti actually gets some crowd work from Donnelly right now. It's been a while, right? He's working <laughs> the crowd, so it's nice. I'll take all that. All day. Uh, absolutely. I'm trying uh, to work the room. Work in the and room. By the room, I mean a nervous <laughs> breakdown in my office. I, I have my computer stacked on, uh, it's on top of like a container store container that's empty. That's the perfect <laughs> fucking metaphor for what's going on right now. An empty container from the container store with a laptop on top trying to entertain i don't know what my beard you did a good job with it i'll great. agree with you on that so just don't bring um, the energy yeah <laughs> ask jill also yeah, her, you know. her joe biden puppet point like I'm like i ride a bicycle <laughs> and i do voiceovers well <laughs> Oh, well, little, to, he I, brought the energy. Yeah, he brought I, the energy, right, Coop? And I, I gotta go call a plumber know, here in a second. So we gotta, oh. we gotta get going before my washer and dryer yeah, falls. Yeah, Q's about to be crushed by a washer and dryer. <laughs> yeah. You guys were awesome. This was a great was night. Fantastic. Thank you so is, much, is, Nicole. Is the data plan over for tonight? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we ran out of bandwidth. 40 minutes free. We ran out of bandwidth. 40 minutes free on Zoom. Roll over minutes. 
This is on. This is like Sprint Light. <laughs> Nicole, thank you so much. You're awesome Thanks as always. Thank me. you. Best to the family. Alice, thank, thank you for gracing us with your hilarious Very cool. uh, jokes and nuances. And we love you and we want you to come back. And Andrew, of course. Uh, of you, course. I think you're going to go yeah. uh, in the alley. <laughs> 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 and Q, thank you for your, your, uh, your so. Oh, this is no time to break up. Well, this, that was the Russian bot. Yeah, no What's time done yet. Oh, you're right. And of course, the Joe bot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Russian bot. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, you, you need to Joe. go on Twitter and start, like, you know. Yeah, I'll put yeah, the going, Go on Fox News and make comments. Um, <laughs> good night, everybody. Stay safe. Thanks, everybody who keeps watching. We really appreciate it. We're here every Thursday night. Q, take us away. Every Thursday night, thank you very much, 8 p.m. Uh, also, keep in mind, uh, Mindful Mondays. We have another show. We get a little deeper, a little, little mindful, and get a little more serious. Oh, we get deep. We got we a big show coming up in two weeks, too. In two weeks. Two weeks. August 10th. Uh, it's going to be a blast. You'll start seeing promotions about it. It's one that people are going to want to watch. And it has to yeah, be a lot. Yeah, it's a big wine. wine. Anybody likes wine, it's going to be a great show. I thought this was the big show. Well, this, this is the funny <laughs> show. This I got people. Why you? <laughs> We got people you? in Warren, Vermont. <laughs> you said hi too. This is anyway. current, right? This is good. <laughs> is this what you do? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right, you guys have a great night. Be well. Something to that effect. Well, thank you, Patrick, very, <laughs> very much. Nice. Have All right. Let's have a great night, everybody. Cheers. I'm gonna stay thank you so on much, for everybody. Questions Cheers. After. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> good night, guys. I'm staying on. Give me the question. Any ask me anything. <laughs> Later, Donald. Thanks, buddy. See you. Bye. <laughs>